Good morning, my darlings. <laughs> Stop kissing me. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, my darlings. From me and the most kissing, loving bunny rabbit in the whole world. We are having an ultra loving, as you can tell, morning this morning. Dexy is literally the love of my life. I'm just so in love with him. I think absence... Stop it. Stop kissing me. I think absence has made the heart grow fonder because I've obviously been in London for the last two days. Stop it. Um, and this morning we have just been loving each other all morning. This little boy won't leave me alone. He's so gorgeous. I mean, look at him. Oh, he's off. He's off. Bye then. Oh, he's back. You're just going to stare at me now. Is that what we're going to do? Well, what a glamorous start to the vlog. Um, I have been lounging here on the sofa um, for the last couple of hours, catching up, wow, on, on lots of editing. I've just had a call from Land Rover that our car is on its way back. While we had the Aston Martin, we had our car serviced. There were a couple of little um, little problems that they needed to sort out. So our car has been serviced and that's coming back this morning, which is great. Um, I'm completely home alone because Charlie is at the gym. Lala is um, on her way back to see my brother. And so I am going to have, I'm going to have like an admin day got lots of washing I need to do lots of I've actually got lots of um straw top stuff I need to do I've been editing all morning um but first I'm gonna have a nice pampering bath well have you ever seen a more brown outfit of the day um I would be lying if I said that I had any intention of actually doing any workout in my workout clothing today it has turned out to be one of those days where um, suddenly it's 3 p.m. and it's getting dark and I can't even really tell you what I have done today. It's just been one of those days where I've just been kind of catching up on life admin and none of that, I would argue, is very interesting for me to share on Vlogmas. I've edited a few vlogs, I've stripped a few beds, put a few wash loads on and now I am trying on some bits from a recent-ish Natta Porter order. In case you are confused about this outfit, it is basically a, um, a workout set. I'm just loving brown workout sets at the moment because then I can live in the leggings all day long. This is from a company called Girlfriend Collective and most of this um, material is actually recycled water bottles, which is amazing. I do think, however, I need to size up because it was quite challenging <laughs> getting these leggings on. But yeah, a lot of these bits are from a Netta Porter order that I did a few weeks ago. You'll have already seen me wearing my green Chloe dress, the knit dress. I'll pop a picture up on the screen here. And of course, this gorgeous bag, which I just kind of like snuck into the vlogs and didn't really give it much attention. But I thought it was the perfect bag for this time of year. It fits all of my essentials in there. You guys know I just absolutely adore Chloe. I love all of their bags. They, they have so many different styles of bags, but I just love them so much. And my laptop fits in here, I can take all of my daily essentials. So yeah, you'll have seen me getting a lot of use out of this. Um, it literally goes with all of my outfits at the moment. But there were some more kind of casual pieces within that order that I didn't share with you. And one of them is this gorgeous long line cardigan. It looks a little bit peculiar over my workout wear. But we are going to head out and do some food shopping very exciting shortly. So I'm going to style it with a few different things. It's from a brand called Arch4. It is so heavenly soft. Um, and it's got a tie that goes around the waist as well. So it's kind of like a robe that you can lounge around the house in and I just absolutely love it. Let me pop this on with something a little bit more normal. Okay, a much more appropriate outfit of the day than hanging around in my workout clothing all morning. So this is something else from the Netta Porter order and it is this absolutely beautiful, it's one of those things that as soon as I saw it on the website, instantly added to the basket and it is the most gorgeous jumper dress and it is Victoria by Victoria Beckham. Really simple in its design. The only real design detail are these contrast areas on the elbow. Lengthwise, it's just absolutely beautiful. I think the way that it's cut, it has a slight... 
um, a very slight flick out, but maybe that's just how it naturally falls. So it just looks really elegant, it's a gorgeous length, and I have been wearing it with the Chloe bag. The tones just go together so, so perfectly. And then of course, if I do want to layer up, this is the Arch 4. It is actually 100% cashmere um, cardigan. And I love layering brown layers together. I think it looks so, so cozy. The jumper dress obviously has this gorgeous neck where it's like a roll neck. Um, and I would probably wear this without the row belt of the cardigan because then it just gives it a slightly more relaxed finish. And then along with the Chloe bag, this is literally my favorite outfit, my perfect outfit combination. Lots of cozy layers because of the wool of the dress and the cashmere of the cardigan. It is so, so warm and yet ultra cozy as well. So this is pretty much the outfit of the day that I love to wear most days when I'm just doing Cotswold errands. But then equally, I'd like to wear something like this in London as well. My London days, this is equally perfect because it is a fairly smart outfit, also depending on what footwear you use. I've got these heeled boots on, which just quite literally elevate the outfit slightly. Of course, I'm naturally thinking towards January and that time of year where I don't know about you, but I really just don't care about trends in January. I just want to be cozy. I want to look like chic and polished and put together, but my number one priority is being warm and cozy. So for that reason, outfits like this are pretty much going to be on rotation for the rest of, well, the rest of the year. <laughs> quite literally, and beyond. I'm gonna keep this outfit on for today, but I do have a couple more bits that were in that exact same net support order to share with you. And these next two bits, as well as actually the Chloe bag, and to be honest, this cardigan, if there are any lovely, generous boyfriends or husbands or wives or anyone watching that's buying for a lady that maybe has a similar style to me, I would say that this cardigan would be a fail-safe option, as with this bag as would be the Burberry scarf that I have been wearing non-stop. I think that luxury accessories like this are maybe a slightly safer bet when it comes to gifting than, say, a handbag, because a scarf like this is... It really is a fail-safe option, like no one wouldn't love a scarf like this. My one in particular has got um, the new kind of Burberry branding on the other side, but there are loads of luxury scarves on Net-A-Porter. I'll leave a few of my favourites linked down below. But then, if you or the person that you are buying a gift for is not so into labels, but still really ap appreciates um, gorgeous quality pieces, this is something a little bit different that I added to my basket on a bit of a whim, but now just absolutely love it. I actually searched Lauren Manoogian. Manoogian or Mahoogian? I think it's Manoogian. Um, because she has the most gorgeous long line cardigans, and I have got another one to show you in a second. And I saw that she did this cape, and it's really kind of thick, um, I think it's a wool, it's really lovely and thick, and it's just a gorgeous way of adding, adding another layer to an outfit. It is going to keep your upper body so nice and snugly warm, but then I would possibly actually take this belt off. I don't think you really need to accentuate your waist if you're wearing something like this. If I prop you up there, you can see a little bit more clearly. Um, but yeah, I just really like the way that it hangs, it's a very elegant piece. Um, I can't stop thinking about my YouTube analytics when I was looking through it with you guys at the end of a vlog. Must be like a week ago now. Um, but yeah, I was sharing the age demographics of you guys and I can kind of understand it because I do feel like a lot of the things that I wear are very ageless. Like my mum would totally wear this outfit. I'm not going to reveal her age, but she would wear this outfit. I feel like Charlie's mum would wear this outfit. It's a very ageless kind of look um, and that's kind of become my style. I just really like wearing things that are timeless. I'm investing in things now that I can wear for a long time. Like none of the items I'm wearing right now are particularly on trend. You could argue that the bag is like a trend bag because it's been purchased recently, but I really don't actually have that crazy amount of bags in my collection. And if I look at bags I've had for a couple of years, for example, um, like my little YSL, nearly every bag in my collection is neutral in colour and everything just goes together really, really nicely and it's things like this that you buy now and you literally, <laughs> you literally wear forever. It's just, it's just a really nice like quality classic piece. So I've been very impressed with the various bits from, um, from this order. kind of want to keep this on today actually. Is there anything else I need to show you? I'm going to put this back on but let me just show you the one other um, Lauren Manoogian cardigan that I got. 
So this I would say is actually too similar in colour to what I'm wearing now to look... Oh, I don't know actually. <laughs> that is actually really, really nice. It's a really lovely cosy outfit combination. Yeah, these are the kind of things when it gets dreary and wintry, I'm going to be all bundled up. But because they're such quality pieces, I'm going to feel fabulous with my bag from a couple of years ago. Just worn crossbody. And Saint Laurent do on Net-A-Porter have a few bags that are quite similar to this at the moment. This always happens. I pick something up and I'm like, oh, it won't go with what I'm wearing. It's too similar in colour or it's too different in colour. And then when I start pairing things together, it looks great. And I'm really happy with this. Now I'm just going to keep this on. So let me show you in the mirror. If you're ever in doubt and just not sure what to wear on a certain day, just literally try things on. Stick, stick things together and you never know what might work. So this is just an ultra, super duper cosy outfit. Again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ditch the... Um, waist belt from the Victoria Victoria Beckham dress because we don't need it um, and the crossbody bag is really the finishing touch to the outfit have I even said what we're doing we're literally just going food shopping but we are going to Dalesford first we've got a few gifts that we're going to buy um, our gardener and other people that have been helping us around the house over the last year or so so yeah, we're basically going to do a little bit of a Christmas gift shopping. So I'm going to keep on this outfit after thinking it wouldn't work. Um, and then when I get home later, I'm going to be... I might do a little come online shopping with me. Because there are a few other bits that I want to get from Netta Porter and also Mr. Porter ahead of the gifting season. They've got really good um, shipping. So just about enough time when this video goes live. So I'll leave all of these bits from Netta Porter linked down below for you darlings. Gosh, this light by the mirror is so... Dazzling. I used all new makeup th this morning. Um, I had a few new bits to try out and I think I like I like most of the bit. Maybe this base is a little bit pale for me. Still nice and glowy and I just really quickly blow dried my hair with the bristle attachment on the, the Dyson Air Up. I always think, as I've said a million times, that I'm wearing something a little bit plain, a little bit cosy. Just add pearls. <laughs> I should put that on a t-shirt. Just add pearls and instantly I feel more put together, more myself. Um, these are Monica Vinader. You can, of course, you can take the pearl off. So it would just be like quite a contemporary um, gold, not really a hoop because it, the hoop is on top of your ear as opposed to through it. And mm, I think my Monica Vinader discount code is just about still active, Josie MV20. So <laughs> be quick if you want to get anything from Monica Vinader before Christmas. Did I put eyeliner on today? No, I didn't put eyeliner on, but I did put, um, well, you guys know the Viteri VIP expert palette that I'm obsessed with. I put in, put on, in my eyes, I put on a slightly darker shade. Um, and a bit jazzy for a <laughs> Thursday afternoon. Anyway, time to go shopping. Well, you'd think that we've just got back from our Christmas shopping expedition, um, but no, we still haven't actually left, but these are the gifts that we have got to wrap this afternoon. I think we're going to pop a Christmas film on the Sky Glass, and yeah, we're going to get busy doing lots of wrapping this afternoon. Charlie's been busy collecting gifts, as have I, um, lots of bits from local markets. We've tried to support the small brands as much as possible this year, but also some lovely beauty goodies. But speaking of gifts, Charlie and I received the loveliest delivery this morning. This has come from two of our wonderful followers, Matt and Doris. They are, they're just so lovely. We get birthday cards, we get Christmas cards from them. And, ooh, and now, oh my gosh, you guys, if you're watching, it's so, so generous. This is just the most thoughtful gift package. So first of all, this kind of bronze sausage dog statue. It is so regal. We thought this little sausage would look would go great in your office. It most certainly will. That is going to have pride of place on our desk. And then I believe this is some very luxurious chocolates. Butler's the signature chocolate collection. Oh my goodness. I better hide them from Charlie because what happens is people send lovely things like this for the two of us. And then I never see them again because he's such a snuffler. He pretends to be all healthy. Um, but then once he has one chocolate, he just eats all of them and I don't even get a look in. And then, just as if that wasn't enough, oops, they have also sent over this stunning candle. And it's, um, fir and pine, so the most 
heavenly festive fragrance. I think it's one of those wood wick candles. Excuse the mess behind me, our postal area right now is a bomb site. There is just deliveries coming in left, right and centre. So this is from a company called Field Day. Sorry if you can hear Charlie on the phone in the background. This literally smells like Christmas trees. It smells so gorgeous. I'm gonna put this, I think I'm gonna put this in the family room um, because it will just make the whole like kitchen and family room area smell like Christmas trees. It's so gorgeous. You guys, you're too generous, firstly, too generous. Um, but we're so grateful. Such gorgeous gifts, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. No. Tap. What is that? What is that? And I think the only thing that Jack mentioned. Yeah. Well, I think Charlie's going to be a few more minutes. So I have made myself a cup of tea and I've got a mince pie here with the brandy butter. <gasps> delicious and while I enjoy that I'm going to do a little bit of online shopping on Netaporter. This is the holiday and gifting shop. I think because the lighting is so strange I'm actually going to share my screen with you. Okie dokie so I'm starting on the holiday and gifting shop. Um yes I'm obviously looking for gifts for other people but when I'm on Netaporter, this looks nice the ultimate gift guide. Let's have a look. Oh read on Porter so this is or Porte. Let me know what you guys say down below. The ultimate, ah, okay. Oh, this is fantastic. See, I didn't actually know that they had quite so much home stuff, um, but they have got the most, go wow, this is so lovely. Okay, this is for all the different people that you might know. The host, the jewelry collector. <gasps> God, yeah. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. Wow, one day, is that Jeje Le Coot? Is that how you say it, Jeje Le Coot? Oh my gosh, Cartier. Oh, what to buy for the self-care queen. Are they Olivia Von Hull, my favorite? That was Dexy jumping off the sofa. They have got so many gorgeous bits. Look at this. I know that Scarlett, Charlie's sister, um, wants some Olaplex, so that's something. Oh, wow. Okay, they are gorgeous. Manolo Blahnik. I'm just gonna add these things straight to the shopping bag. I think Lala. Ooh, yes, okay. I think Lala would potentially love those Manolo Blahnik house slippers. <gasps> she sure would. And I think Scarlett, Charlie's sister. Oh, it's out of stock. Oh no. Oh my gosh. I did not know they did Soho Home. <gasps> oh my goodness. So many lovely bits. Let's have a look for the Sunseeker. Sorry, my camera battery just died. So I'm just filming the rest of this um, voiceover on my phone. Gosh, they literally have got so many, so many wonderful gift ideas. I love this um, diptyque candle that is absolutely stunning and a gorgeous gorgeous gift idea let's add one of those to my basket add to shopping bag i'm not entirely sure who for but i think it's really lovely to have some like little extra gifts you know in case someone buys you something and you've not got anything in the bag that looks like dr Branches, but i'm not sure that it is that looks gorgeous um this is such a lovely gift guide i'd love to use this as like a a model for how how my blog um, looks. That is gorgeous. That is absolutely stunning. This is so me. Are they Gucci gloves? Ooh, no. Ajnel. Okay, they are gorgeous. Add to shopping bag. What to buy for him? Here we go. Okay, Mr. Porter, guide to a better day. A globe. I actually bought Charlie a globe last year. I think Charlie would love that candle and so would I. That's quite Charlie as well, actually, and he loves Soho Home. So I'm actually going to see what Soho Home stuff they've got. So let's go back to the top. Soho Home. I think, ooh, leather and oud. That sounds rather lovely. I think Charlie would love that. And in the green marble as well. That's absolutely beautiful. And then what else did I want to search for? Scarlet. Olaplex. Yay. Okay, I think she'd probably like the main kind of treatment hair perfector. That sounds pretty good. Yes, okay. And then I can't resist always just looking in the new in section. Um, I do also want to have a little look for something sequiny for myself for New Year's Eve. Wow, 
stunning. Oh my gosh. They have got the most gorgeous pieces. I love all these colors. That's lovely. The new Zimmerman collection. I love this brand. They look so fun. Oh, nice. Wow, they are beautiful. I thought they were going to be Manolo. I love a good mule. I'm going to add them to basket. That's my way of like thinking about things. And while we're here, let's have a look. Actually, let's have another look at more from this brand because these look stunning. Jennifer Chimandi Bogosian immersed herself in weekend classes at Cordwainers College. Made in the same village where Le Bouton and Manolo Blan Blanick produce... Oh, goodness me. Some stunning, stunning shoes here. <gasps> Wedding shoes. Okay, so while we're thinking about shoes, let's just have a little look at what they've got from Mac and Mac because I'm just obsessed. These are... <gasps> oh, my goodness. Is that not a sign that these are literally my size and that's what needs to be added to the basket? Dickie, stop growling at me. Dickie's growling at me because I have got... Um, sequins. I have got mince pie sat next to me. Naughty boy. Ooh la la. That's an, oh, that's, I thought this brand was more expensive than that. That is a gorgeous New Year's Eve dress. Let's have a look at that one. Wow. That looks spectacular. I think I probably beat that size. Absolutely gorgeous. My goodness. Look at this. So many gorgeous sequin pieces, sequin gowns. Oh, wow, Dickie, stop it. Some of these are just spectacular. They're all just spectacular. Oh, look at that for New Year's Eve. That would just be incredible. The way that the fabric is kind of twisted in the middle here. That's stunning. Do we try this as well? 40% off, maybe we give it a go. Okay, and now I am getting distracted, so let's go back to gifts for him. Dickie, please. Wow. Oh my goodness. What a gorgeous, gorgeously set out gift guide. Leather watch roll. Now that is a nice idea. See, there's things on here that you just wouldn't necessarily think of. That is absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Oh my gosh, how gorgeous is that? A little bobble hat. That is a beautiful wallet. Charlie really likes these money clip style ones. Dickie, Bang & Olufsen speaker. Spectacular cocktail set. Please, little boy, stop growling at me. A crystal decanter. Jewelry case. This is amazing. They have literally got everyone covered here. Wireless speaker, they've got home bits, Bang & Olufsen. That's a beautiful backpack. That is the sort of thing that Charlie would wear. Dickie, first aid drinks kit. Okay, come here, little sausage. Right, I am going to um, clear away my mince pie before Dickie starts barking at me. Um, I'm going to continue with this later because I think we're just about ready to go. So we've got the car back and it's never looked this clean, has it darling? No, they've actually, credit to them, they've done a phenomenal job, both of cleaning it and also fixing the problem. Yeah. Because the problem we had, it's not obvious on this, but it's on the other side, this was sticking. Mm. It was a small problem and, and credit to them, they fixed it straight away, it was sticking, so it meant that often when you closed the door and opened it, the rubber would come loose. Yeah, and it was whistling, wasn't it? Yeah. I mean, it is strange because this, this one doesn't come loose at all, mm. but the other one still does come loose. Just looks really cool and like, I don't know, looks like a really cool car when it's nice and clean. Um, it won't stay like this for too long, even after this journey. But even in here, they have done an inside and an outside clean. So it's looking absolutely gorgeous. By the looks of the car park, it seems like we have caught Dalesford at a fairly quiet time. So we're going to go and uh, enjoy the peace and quiet and go and check out the garden centre, shall we? You know a business is successful when the car park is 70% capacity and that's quiet. <laughs> yeah, there's no queues of people and there are actually spaces visible. This is it's actually the quietest I've seen it in a long time. Maybe Omnicrom's had everyone cancelling their Cotswold vacations. Which would be ironic. Has. Yeah. They've got their deals for Christmas trees. This looks so lovely with all the fairy lights, doesn't it? 
a rather spectacular light up reindeer. Beautiful. Gosh, we could hang that in the entrance hall. That's gorgeous, or in the dining room. Gosh, look how cozy this setup is. They just make everything look so wonderful here. A wreath above the fireplace, stockings hung by the chimney would care, in the hope that St Nicholas soon would be there. As always, festive inspo from the tablescapes at Dalesford. Really, really simple little pots of foliage, pine cones on the table, lovely looking crackers. So beautiful. It's always just so simple and so lovely. <laughs> Pay 300 for ours, three or 400. This is 950. <gasps> and ours is literally nearly identical. I would say ours is nicer. Well, ours is nicer because it's not got blue paint. Wow, so they're champagne baskets, aren't they? And where so did you get ours they from? Are, they are called champagne baskets, but let's harvest champagne grapes. Oh, we, and, and interestingly, these I didn't notice until I read the label, but these are to harvest chestnuts. Goodness. So yeah, so when they say champagne basket, it's not to carry champagne, it's to harvest the grapes. Right, sorry, and where did you get ours from? Uh, Max Rollett, which is the same website. He's an interior designer, but he has an antiques section. Okay. He likes Susie Atkinson, and yeah. he's the same people that we get the sofa from. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Quite high-end antiques. And the one that we've got at home has got your initials on it as well. Yeah, it has, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a CMI, isn't it? Well, it says CM, and it's got a gap for the eye. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to add the I in. I love these wreaths. Wow, that really is kicking out a lot of heat. That is gorgeous. Lovely. It's a nice little table, isn't it? I still, yeah, I love that. I love Maybe we should just leave, Charlie, a spray like this on our dining table, because we're not moving our new dining table, are we? At Christmas? No, no. no, so maybe we should just leave a big spray like yeah. that on it. Spray? Yeah, it's a spray. When it's a big selection of foliage, it's called a spray. Oh, really? Yeah. Never knew that. That's quite a lovely vase as well, isn't it? Beautiful. I would love to get another one of these for like Christmas for cheeses and stuff. Yeah, or for my wreath that I'm going to do. Oh, that is cool. It's That's expensive. lovely. How much? It's annoying because it's perfect, but I know that if we went to Burgess, we'd find that for 30 quid. No, but I don't think you... The, the only thing I would say is that approach is always risky because they often here have the eye for the really attractive ones. Yeah. But if we get to Burgess before they do. I don't know, I think I really like that. No, it's not it's worth too that much. much. It's too much. It's too much. at Dalesford, I could just literally eat everything in here. Do you want to grab that try? Well, it was mission accomplished at Dalesford. We have got a hamper for Lucy. We have got, let's see, lots of yummy bits and bobs. A mixture of these are for us and some are for gifts. Yeah, Charlie chose a few of these hot chocolate stirring sticks. I, I thought they had marshmallows. No, so some have marshmallows. So we've got a visitor. Hello, my most handsome. Hello, Dexie. The most distinguished sausage dog in the you cosmos. You are the most distinguished what gentleman. A You're chat. the original. What a lovely boy. You're lovely. You're so nice. Right, what else have we got then, darling? Um, I don't. Oh yeah, this is just my final uh, piece for the tree at Straw Top. You're so silly. We've not You've got gone the in to buy that piece. every time we've gone. Yeah, there you go, the moo cow. Right, moo cow. Yeah, mate. Cute, right, so what else have we got? The top ups, right, the are we, who are the, the uh, treats for? Are they for Jack? 
So those are, yeah, so let's put this bag here and we'll wrap them up nicely. They're for Jack and Martin, who okay. kindly work in our garden and are lovely. Right, um, organic they are for me, raspberries. With my muesli in the morning. Right, hot I'm chocolate. I'm turning into an old bloke. You are. Uh, right, we need to work those ones out. Um, excuse me. Hot chocolate with marshmallows. Next, uh, just pull him down, Willie. Really, uh, just pull him Dexter. down. Dexter! We don't do that. Um, more hot chocolate. More hot chocolate. Yeah, these are to go in all of the different hampers. Right. Lemon heck. So I think, yeah, because I'm going to do one for Simon, one for. So that's good. The wine's already wrapped up, so that can go in there. With that. Okay. Bread rolls, I guess they're for us. They're for us for Saturday. Um, right, hang on. So I think we should give. One of the spice rum and one of the marshmallows to Lucy and James. James. Tales for Dexy. shortbread. One of those for Jack and Martin. Yeah. Um. And then the other one was for Lucy, but I think she's now I got shortbread Simon in her hamper. Simon. Okay. Um. And then ricotta pasta. And then is that the cheese? Yeah. I have to for... do this a bit more cleverly. Okay. So that was for mince pies. So we're going to do a bit of a hamper. Let's, yeah, we're going to need the big bag for Jack and Martin. God, it feels quite dark in here, doesn't it? It's dark in here. In this room. So jam is for Lucy and James. Those are for Lucy and James. Well, let's open up their hamper and we can start yeah, filling just this give me a little bit. I think buying nice treats is such a good Christmas gift. So that's all for Jack and Martin. Yeah, and this. What's that? Mold one. Yeah. Oh, it smells lovely. Organic mulling spices. Dixie, did you get booked in at the hairdresser? Oh, it's stuff for us. Did you get your appointment with the Cotswold barber, Dixie? Because you're looking very scruffy. So we already bought one of the made up hampers from Dalesford and we're just adding in a few extra bits and because it's her maternity I've actually got a baby toy Great. that I bought from one of my followers companies that's going to go in there as well. Okay, so Charlie and I are going to have a festive movie night tonight and uh, do a little bit of gift wrapping and finally finishing putting the orange slices on the tree this evening. So it's going to be a very cosy night. Um, it's not even six o'clock yet, but we are already in our pyjamas. These are my Olivia Van Hals. I have got three pairs or three sets of Olivia Van Hal pyjamas. Um, my first set was actually a very kind gift from Clarins years and years ago. Clarins were always infamous for their Christmas dinners and um, obviously it's not happened for the last couple of years because of Covid but um, this particular Christmas dinner was at Berry Brothers which is a very infamous wine merchant in London and they had um, we had their Christmas dinner down in the basement and they gave us an amazing bottle of Berry Brothers wine and a white silk set of Olivia Van Hal pyjamas and since then they've just been like my pinnacle. I do love a luxury pair of pyjamas, especially this time of year. I love them so much. I then went and purchased this set from Netta Porter again about three years ago. Um, and I've since, or maybe I only have two sets of Olivia Van Hal. I feel like I've got a pattern set, but maybe I'm losing the plot. But if Father Christmas happens to be watching, I do have another set on my wish list from Netta Porter. I will leave them up on the screen here. As I said, just I just love a pair of luxurious pyjamas. It feels so, so nice, especially on these long, dark evenings. Um, but tonight I'm just about to make myself a, <laughs> do I even need to say it? <laughs> you guys know, I'm gonna make myself a macaroni cheese. Um, I actually tried every tactic in my tactic book um, to try and get fish and chips tonight. I tried the tactic where I drop the nugget early on in the day so that it's like going off in the back of his mind. That didn't work. I tried getting him out of the house when he was hungry. That didn't work. What else did I try? Oh, come on, let's support local businesses. I even tried that. I tried everything, but um, no. But he did say we can have fish and chips tomorrow, so that's great. So I'm going to do what I did last time, which was the kind of festive mac and cheese with cranberry in it. Oh my gosh, you guys know that I can't talk 
when I speak about mac and cheese because my mouth waters so much. So that's what I'm going to get cracking with. Well, I did share my festive mac and cheese recipe um, during Vlogmas last year, so I'm not going to go through it in that much detail. I don't think this mac and cheese will be any different to the one that I did last year, so I'll leave that linked up on the screen here. I am going to do it tonight, my white sauce in my always pan. I've actually never made my mac and cheese white sauce in my always pan before, but I think that makes a lot of sense. So just a quick run through in case you can't bother to watch uh, last year's vlogmas video. Butter in the, um, in the saucepan. I've got another pan here filled with water, which I'm waiting for boil. And then I will put quite a good amount of salt in there and then rigatoni style pasta because then you get it nice and al dente and um, it gets plenty of sauce. Oh my God. Sorry, <laughs> mouth watering. <laughs> plenty of sauce inside the tube. I'm gonna do what Charlie said this time and not put quite as much butter in because apparently that does alter the like fat level and the oiliness of the sauce. So normally I do about half that block, but I'll do about a third today. So the butter in a non-stick pan just on a fairly low heat. And then once the butter has properly melted, you want to add some plain flour. Um, this is the kind of pasta that I'll be using, by the way, the nice big rigatoni. You wanna make sure your water is quite heavily salted. A bit of Cornish sea salt in there. If, by the way, um, you know someone that has maybe moved house this year or is kind of into their home stuff, I still think that the always pan is such a good gift idea. Probably coming to like the last few days that you can order this with Christmas delivery. So I will leave the always pan link down below because it is literally the best thing ever. Okay, rigatoni. Just slowly adding some plain flour in with the butter. Sorry if you can hear Dexie and Dickie having a batter in the background. And don't worry about it being lumpy at this stage because it just absolutely will be. This is the weirdest milk packet ever. This is the only way that you can buy milk at Dalesford. I'm sure there's something really jazzy going on here. It's like an inflated section. It looks as though you're meant to rip it there, but I feel like this is gonna squirt milk everywhere at me. No, that does not seem right. Oh, cut here. Surely unless you're having all the milk at one time, that's not a good idea, because now the milk is just open. That's so weird. But needs must. I'd have thought they would do reusable plastic, sorry, um, glass bottles, like the Cotswold Milk Company. That's what we normally get from Quince and Clover. So I'm just mixing this together again. I'm not worried that it's a little bit lumpy because I'm just gonna keep on adding milk. And then gradually, with lots of stirring, it should turn from a thick paste as you add more milk whenever it's combined. It should eventually turn into a beautiful sauce. Now this is the perfect consistency. I'm gonna take it half off the heat, add a little bit more. Sorry, that's the first bit of salt I've popped in there some pepper and now I'm going to use the Thermomix to grate up some cheddar from Dalesford. Um, I've got some parmesan cheese that we had in the freezer and also now this is a festive treat I have got some gruyere so I'm going to do about a block about that big of gruyere same size of cheddar and pretty much the same size of parmesan but I do the parmesan first, extra fine, and keep half of that aside because then that's gonna go on the top as well.
Now here is where it goes from a normal mac and cheese to a juicy mac and cheese. I'm adding in a pinch of ground nutmeg, quite a big pinch, and then a good dollop of Coleman's. This is original English mustard. Actually significantly thicker sauce-wise than I would normally like to do. I think I got a little bit carried away with flour, but never mind. So now I'm adding a dollop of Dalesford organic cranberry sauce right in the middle. It's gonna mush that in a tiny bit. Yeah, see the sauce would normally like dribble through the pasta, but it's just a little bit thick today. My reserve parmesan. A little bit more pepper on the top. And then it's in the agar for 10 minutes while I do all the washing up. Are you actually going to the sweetie drawer even though you've got three mince pies on your plate? I just wanted to try some of these. I've been eyeing these up. I'm going to have some of these chocolates out here. <laughs> Caught in the act. A wild animal sneaks through the sweetie drawer. There we go. You know what you need, darling? You need to try the brandy butter that's in the fridge with these mince pies. I'm not mad on brandy butter. When did you last try it? Yeah, try try a little bit of brandy butter. So, Charlie Irons, on his plate, fresh from the Arga, has currently got a Waitrose puff pastry mince pie, a Dalesford organic traditional mince pie, and <gasps> I've not even tried these yet. I've bought them a Mason traditional mince pie. See, they're the most attractive. Which one's that, Fortnum? Mm. Yeah, try a bit of brandy butter. Got some in the fridge. And meanwhile, my mac and cheese is fresh out the agar. It's not my biggest looker, but it smells amazing. And I was just thinking about what I would do if someone gave me the ultimatum of mac and cheese or mince pies and I could only have one for the rest of my life. I don't know what I would do. I do actually, I'd choose mac and cheese. Well, if this isn't the perfect setup, I don't know what is. Mac and cheese. My Dexie is somewhere down there. Chicken's coming in. I can hear him coming in. Diggy, diggy, diggy. Hello, fluffy bunny rabbit. Hello, fluffy bunny rabbit. The fire is lit. My two babies are here. And we are just about to finish watching the holiday because we had to leave Ali and Lydia's about two thirds of the way through the film so that we could, <coughs> so Charlie wasn't too tired when he was driving. Not a lovely So we'll watch the end. Bon appetit, what's your verdict on the mince pies? I haven't tried them yet, I'm just waiting to get this to the right moment while that is going now. Yes, look at that. Good work, Nigel. Oh, oh epic fail. Epic fail, try again, bunny, you can do it. <laughs> Come on, big boy. And then we have Ooh. got a lot of wrapping to do. has gone from being an innocent bystander to a great little helper. I just, I like to test all of the decorations you see. I'm going to actually stop this now.